Chapter 8, Basics of GDL Scripting, Part 3. In this chapter, you will continue creating the tables you started in Chapter 7. There will be some more concepts and commands you will get familiar with. You will again work in the Library Part Editor window. This lesson demonstrates the following basic object making techniques. Structuring scripts for better readability. Using comments in scripts. Functions of buttons available in script windows. Using the add command in the 3D script. Using the poly2 underscore b command in the 2D script. Using status codes in 2D script commands. Using the hotspot2 command in the 2D script. Using commands prism underscore command and so-called status codes to control the visibility of individual surfaces and edges of objects in 3D. Step 1. Overview. Open the extension underscore table extension h98.gsm file using the file libraries and objects open object command. In the library part window, open the 3D script window. The next thing we're going to talk about is commenting code for future reference. Comment in scripts serve a specific purpose. They give textual description of the user of the code about what the various segments of code are actually doing. The idea behind commenting is that you can provide yourself with information within the code which enables you to quickly remember or understand what the code is doing even years after it was originally written. In the first line of the 3D script, above the pen command, write the code exclamation mark setting tabletop, pen, and material properties. As you can see, the line starts with the exclamation mark character. This is the sign of the comment in GDL scripts. Whenever a line starts with the exclamation mark character, ARCHICAD will consider it a comment line. Comment lines are skipped by the program when executing the script. The comment we entered refers to the next two lines of code following it. Later, when you or someone else is reading the code, he will be able to understand quickly which portion of the 3D geometry those lines are related to. When creating comments, it's advisable to place them above the lines of code they referred to. Then, when someone trying to understand the code reads the comment, they will immediately know what they can expect the following lines of code to do. Make sure to place as many comments as needed so it will be easy to understand later by you or someone else. Insert the following lines of code into the 3D script so the beginning of the script will look the following way. Obviously, you do not have to comment on every single line of code but the more you comment, the more easily understandable your code will be. Probably you want to comment more heavily if other people are going to use your code because unlike you, they will know nothing about it. In this case, commenting can help them understand how your code is structured. We also placed empty lines between code segments to further increase readability. For the last comment segment, starting with exclamation mark mirror x, the comment takes two lines. Note that comments can be of any length, but each new line of comment must start with the exclamation mark character. Commenting serves another purpose. When checking how your code works, you can comment out lines of code, in which case they will not be executed. This way, you can test how your object behaves with or without certain lines of code. Let's try this. Go to the end of the 3D script and using your mouse, select the seven lines of code that comprise the prism underscore command after the 100 colon subroutine label. At the top of the 3D script window, you will see five buttons. Click the leftmost one to comment all selected lines. The comment button will place an exclamation mark character at the beginning of each selected line of code, in effect making them comment lines. Activate the 3D view window. As you can now see, only the insert piece of the tabletop is generated in 3D. This is because we commented out the lines of code responsible for the generation of the curved tabletop pieces. Uncomment the first line of the seven lines of code you commented by removing the exclamation point character from its beginning. 
Activate the 3D view window. As you can see, the program gives an error message, so make sure all the lines belonging to the same command are commented. Sometimes commands come in pairs and they are not located next to each other. For example, if you comment an if-then line, then you should also comment the end-if line belonging to that if-then command. Click on the stop button to stop the execution of the 3D script. Go back to the 3D script window and place the exclamation character back at the beginning of the prism underscore command. Activate the 3D view window. Now that all the lines of the command are either all commented or are all uncommented, no error messages are sent by the program. Select all seven commented lines and click the uncomment button at the top of the 3D script window. It's the second button from the left. As you can see, the comment and uncomment buttons at the top of the 3D script window can be used to comment or uncomment large portions of code. The next two buttons at the top are the indent and remove indent buttons. The purpose of these is to indent selected lines with one tab position or undo this indent from selected lines. Indentation is another useful feature you can use to make code more readable. For example, let's consider the following portion of the 3D script. Here, the lines containing the parameters of the prism underscore command are indented one tab position from the position of the prism underscore keyword, so it is easy to see that they belong to that keyword. Also, the whole prism underscore command and all of its lines of code containing parameters are indented one tab position from the positions of the if and end if commands. This way, you can quickly see which lines belong within the if clause without having to search too much for them. This is especially useful when the codes are long and won't fit into the 3D script window. Select the five indented lines of the prison underscore command. Click on the Remove Indent button at the top of the 3D script window and observe that the selected lines were moved back on the tab position to the left. With the lines still selected, click the Indent button to restore the previous state. The last button at the top of the script window is the Check Script button. If pressed, it will check the script in its current state and report if it has found any problems. If the script is correct, the following message is displayed. In the event there are some problems, the error message that appears will give some clue so you can easily fix the errors. Insert the following comments into the 3D script so it is fully commented.